Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial with Android Studio. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to working with contextual menus in Android. So the contextual menu will appear whenever user make a long press on a view component or if the user hold a view component, the contextual menu will appear. And there is two way to display the contextual menus in Android. First, first option is you can display the contextual menu as a floating contextual menu. The second option is you can use a contextual action bar to display the contextual menus. Okay. So if you use a floating contextual menu, you can select only one item at a time. But if you're using a contextual action bar or action mode, you can select multiple items at a time. The contextual menus are generally used with the list views or grid views. But you can use the contextual menus with any view components by registering that particular view component object with the contextual menus. Okay. So here I am going to create an Android application that will display a floating contextual menu. Here is the example. So here is a list view that displays the different Android versions. So if I make a long press on any of these item, a floating contextual menu will appear. So this is an example of a floating contextual menu. So whenever the user make a long press on the items available on the list view, this menu will appear. This is much similar to a dialog. Okay. So now we are going to create an application similar to this one. So start a new project in Android Studio. The first thing we have to add a list view to the activity main.xml file because this is a list view. So go to the XML version. Here is a text view is available. Remove that one. First we have to add a list view to the activity main.xml file. Specify the width as match parent height as wrap content okay also we need an id for this list view so use the android id attribute plus id i name it as list view okay now go to main activity dot java file and create an object of list view here I name it as list view. Okay, now we have to initialize this object. So list view. Equal to find view by id. R dot id dot. The id of the list view is list view. Okay. Now type cast this one into list view. Okay, now we have a list view available on the activity main.xml file. Now we have to add some menus. So go to the menu folder and create a new XML file. I name it as my contextual menu. Okay, and click OK. Now we got a new XML file on the menu folder called my contextual menu. Now here we need to add some items. So we need three items. So if I make a long press on these items. Okay, we need three items. So delete, share and help. So we have to add three items. So before going to add these items, we have to add some resources into the strings.xml file. So here I am going to add some string resources. So copy one string resource. First one is delete. So I make the identifier as title delete and specify this value as delete. Okay. One more. 
the second one is share so I specify the identifier as share title share and specify the value as share and the last one is help so specify the title identifier as title help specify the value as help okay so now go to the my contextual menu.xml file now here we have to add some items so first I add an item first we have to provide an ID for this item using Android ID attribute I specify it as ID delete now we have to specify the title Android title Referred from the string resource, it is title delete. Okay, now we need another item, so copy this item, add another item. The I, I change the ID into ID share, also change the title into title share. Also, we need another item. Change the ID into ID help. Also, change the title into title help. Okay, now we have a menu is available on the menu folder that can contain three items so delete, share, and help. Okay, now we have to inflate this particular contextual menus into the layout, into the list view. So go to the main activity.java file. So here we already have a list view. So here is a list view object and we initialize that particular list view. So now for inflating that particular contextual menu, you need to overwrite a method called on create contextual menus. Yeah, this one on create context menu okay so this method contain three arguments you can see this method contain one two three arguments first one is the contextual menu object second one is the selected view component object and final one is a contextual menu info object the final argument the contextual menu info will give you some additional information about the selected item from the list view or grid view okay so now we have to inflate that particular XML file for that we need an object of menu inflator I name it as menu inflator just call the method get menu inflator okay now we have to inflate that particular XML file using the menu inflator object and call the inflate or inflate method first you have to specify the XML resource it is available on the menu folder and the XML file name is my contextual menu second one you have to pass the object of contextual menu okay now we have to register this particular context menu with the list view for that you have to register this list view with the context menu so you have to call a you have to invoke a method called register for context menu and specify the view object here the view is a list view so i i pass that particular view object to this method register for context menu okay now we have to add some items into the list view for that we have to here I am going to add some string array to the strings.xml file so create a string array I name it as android versions now we need to add some items into this string array so here I already save some string arrays items copy all these items okay 
Now here I add some items into this string array using item attribute. I specify some and some Android versions names here. Okay. Now go to the main activity.java file. First thing we need a string array here. I specify I name it as Android versions. Now we have to initialize this string array. So Android versions equal to get resources dot call the method get string array and it is available on r dot array dot the array name is android versions okay now we need an array adapter for adding each row of data into the list view so here we have to create our own layout for displaying this list to view so we have to change the background color also we have to align this each items into the center so we need to create a separate layout so create a new xml layout resource file and i name it as a row layout okay click ok Now we got a new layout in the layout folder. So displaying each row here we need a text view. Specify the width as match parent, height as wrap content. Okay. Also need an ID for this text view. So Android ID equal to plus id i name it as row item okay also we have to change the background color of the layout into black so use the android background attribute android background we need some black color okay now we change the background color into black now we have to change the font color into white so we have to put some text okay now we have to change the font color text color into white Yeah, now we got it. now we got it. Now we have to align this text to the center. So use Android gravity into center. Yeah, now we align the text to the center. Now we have to now we have to make the text into a bigger so Android text appearance into Android text appearance large. Yeah, now it is a large text. Now we have to change the height of the layout. So instead of much parent here, I am going to specify some height. I specify it as 40 dp. Okay, that's enough. Now we have one row of data here for this list view. Okay, now again go back to main activity.java file so here we have the string and we initialize that particular string array we get all the data from the string array now we have to create an object of array adapter it is handling with a string and i name it as adapter okay now we have to initialize this particular adapter so adapter equal to new array adapter first you have to specify the context i use the application context okay now you have to specify the layout uh, xml layout so r dot layout dot 
here the layout name is raw layout so use that one now you have to specify the id of the the text view that will display each row so r dot id dot i name it as row item this one row item okay finally you have to specify the resource so here the resource is this string array called android version so specify that one android versions okay and finally we have to set this adapter into the list view so list view dot set adapter and specify the adapter name okay so now here we have a list view and we register that particular list view with the context menu so whenever user make a long press on any item on this list view a context menu will appear okay we can check it out now now I am going to run this application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so now I make a long press on an item now we got the contextual floating menu so in the next episode we are going to learn about how to handle the click events of the floating contextual menu we have to done something whenever user select an item from this contextual floating menu okay we have to uh, learn it in the next episode thank you for watching see you in the next episode